So launch or landing, which is more fun? I would have to say that, that in terms of anticipation, launch is a lot of fun because you've got all this to look forward to and, and it's just this incredible amount of man-made energy underneath you, propelling you, and the, uh, every stage of it and, and uh, from, from uh, you know, taking off from the earth and, and wow, you could spend a lot of time talking about the difference between a shuttle and a, and a Soyuz and, 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 and how that plays a role into it, but just going through the atmosphere and, and, and this, this basically controlled explosion happening underneath you is, is one of the most, I don't know, in, enthralling events uh, possible. And it's, it's unlike any roller coaster you've ever been on. A roller coaster's momentary compared to a, a launch. I mean, there you feel like G-forces that last for maybe five seconds or so. But this is eight and a half minutes long until you get to orbit. And then you've got the whole floating thing to look forward to. Uh, but landing, I have to say, uh, especially on a Soyuz vehicle, because you, you land much like they did in Apollo, where the capsule comes through the atmosphere and it kerplunks, but not in the ocean, it kerplunks on, on dry land. That's pretty sporty. Um, the shuttle, you know, it's this nice little, you know, glider, and though it's got some dynamics of its own and it's to be highly respected, it's a rather gentle ride back onto a runway, unlike that on a Soyuz. And, um, that whole thing, is, it's like a controlled car crash, I've had it described before, and it's, it's pretty similar. I mean, it's like, a, it's like a train wreck followed by a car crash, and, and it's, it's, it's very impressive uh, coming back through the atmosphere. And it's, um, if you didn't know what to expect, for instance, you know, you've got a timer, and, and these events are sequential, and you know that this thing's going to happen at this time, and 30 seconds later, the chute's going to open, and, and then you're going to feel this shock of it opening and swaying and swirling, and, and uh, these are all normal as long as you know to expect them. But if you were someone that was just stuck in there, and uh, someone wanted to be really mean to you, it just sends you back down to the earth <laughs> and not tell you what to expect. You think your life was over because of all the bangs, bells, whistles, jerks, jams, bangs. Uh, your whole seat cocks up at some point, and... Uh, um, that's kind of fun, especially if you know it's happening. But if you didn't, you'd think that you were going right through the panel and uh, being ejected. It's, it's almost funny. But, uh, but then you land, you land on the earth, and, uh, and then you just feel like you weigh 1,000 pounds. So it's exciting, but it's not as fun coming back at landing because you know that you got a lot of, a lot of bad juju to get through <laughs> when you land. You, the world's got to stop spinning. You got to get your strength back. And uh, um, it's just not a very inviting atmosphere that we have protecting us uh, from outer space. And uh, it takes some work to get through it, just like it did to get um, uh, going through it uphill. But coming back home is, uh, it's, uh, it's tough. <laughs>